Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yugi once again giving you guys today's movie game tutorial. And today we have the Kakara loot. Now I'm going to shortcut this a little bit because I'm not going to have enough Kakara to play with it. However, I will show you some examples of what you can get. To get started, make sure you have you have at least a lot of Kakara here. And we're going to run info KL. This will give you the information about the camera loops. Now, pay attention here because this is where I'm not going to be enough. I have not enough Kakara on my other server. So, in order to get Kakara loops, you're going to need a prerequisite of Sapphire 1 badge, Ruby 1 badge, and Emerald 1 badge. Okay? Now, on my other server, I right now I have Emerald 1. Unfortunately, I'm going to become comes short when it comes to the Kakara loot because I do not have Emerald 1 and Ruby 1. But this is required for the Kakara loot. Okay, now on my server, I would like to show you guys something here. On my particular server, here's what I have so far. As you guys can see, <laughs> I have a Bronze 1, Silver 2, Gold 1 and Sapphire 1. Alright, I'm missing Ruby 1 and Emerald 1, which I'm not going to be able to get today. However, should you have the, the prerequisites, let's go ahead and talk about how to roll for them. All you have to do is dollar sign KL. Okay, dollar sign KL. Okay, so that's what you're going to need to use. Now, unfortunately, I do not have, I do not have the required badges. However, thanks to my server friends, I would like to show you guys some examples of what you guys can get with um <coughs> Kakara loops. First off, this person has 24 stacked rows, protected with level 7. Moody pins and an RT cooldown of one hour subtracted. We also have we also have this person with three wishlist slots, twenty eight Moody pins, and a protected wish level forty two. One more example we got for you is this person who has. 141 stacked rolls, two permanent rolls, two more wish list slots, and there is a lot more to pull. Okay. So that's what you can expect for the for the Kakara loot. And by the way, if you have two more permanent rolls, you add that to your server base total. For example, in this one we have 18 because I have server premium 2. And you add 18 plus the number of rolls you have from your Kakara loot plus any Moody bonuses that you may have earned for your total of how many rolls you get for that hour. Okay? So, in order to see other stuff in terms of Kakara loot, use dollar sign US. For how many stock rows you have. Okay. US. Okay. LKL will tell you how what's your stats for the, the carrot loops. Dollar sign info pin is where you guys can take a look at how what's the reward for info pin, Moody pins. By the way, any every Moody pin you get is plus one Kakara. For your daily Kakara DK. Okay. Next thing is going to be quantity. Quantity and quality. But you're going to use 2000 Kakara for that. And that's where the levels come into play. Okay. Mm. So in the claim game, you can use these rewards for bonus rolls beyond the rolls according to the server. One player in my server right now has at least 32 rolls per hour because of that. So, get ready for that, okay? 
Now, as far as other stuff is concerned with Kakara, lo Kakara loot, protected wishes allow you to protect your wishes. Um, Moody pins, one Kakara per pin, and you get a chance to get a wish character. Okay? Sorry about not being able to show you an example myself when me rolling it. However, that's what you guys can expect from Kakara loot. Okay? <laughs> that's going to do it for today's tutorial. Next time, I'm going to have a tutorial on keys. Moody keys. This one's interesting. Alright? <clears throat> that's all for now. We'll see you guys next time.